taking place at St. Michael's Academy in Springfield, the middle school students held their annual Living History exhibit last month. They prepared for months for the event. Nick Morganelli takes us back in time now to meet people from ancient to modern day history. St. Michael's Academy has a tradition of fostering an environment of learning that engages students and parents. Just the Catholic education, the atmosphere here is great. You know, the teachers do a great job, the staff, just a real family atmosphere. The absolute attention they give to the students, the teachers are here because they want to be here. They're not here because they're making great salaries. Um, and that love that they have for the kids shows through with the way they teach and how much the kids really pick up from the school. It's uh, invaluable, absolutely invaluable to have teachers with that uh, perspective of learning. The middle school history teachers started the year with this annual assignment and the results were outstanding. They work very hard on these projects. Over a couple of months, they have to research, they have to go and bring things in. We work on it in class, so it's not just at home. This is an exploration in historical events for our students, from ancient civilizations to U.S. history. They get to pick a topic, explore it, research it, and really live the experience, and they like to share that with the families. It inspires them educationally to do more and try harder. Here at the Springfield Museum, it's a great place to learn about history. And when St. Michael's students brought it to life through exhibits, costumes, and storytelling, it was a highlight for parents. Tonight was so wonderful. It was really great to see all the kids come out. We all learned a lot. They had fun. My son Gabe was Thomas Jefferson, and he had a lot of fun doing his project, learned a lot, and um, really a wonderful, wonderful thing. And you didn't help him, right, Mom? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> We visited Martha Graham, a 20th century American dancer and choreographer and creator of the Graham Technique, portrayed by eighth grader and an eight-year St. Michael's student, Ariana Pellerin, who enjoys contemporary dance, hip-hop, and tap. Ever since she was little, she wanted to be a professional dancer, and she pursued her dream, so that really inspires me. Her studio is in New York. And this is her like dancing, and then the mirror, and then I made windows. These are the speakers. We moved when the bell rang and found another great American, Amelia Earhart, pioneer, writer, and the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic. It's just great to see all the kids, the effort they put into to, to create the projects and then pass on the knowledge to everybody looking at it. It's just really special. If you've read Little Women, you'll recognize this novelist from the 1800s. I really did enjoy the project. It taught me a lot about Louisa, Louisa May Alcott. I actually built her study um, where she did write Little Woman. This is, for example, her book, her quill, because she wrote them all by hand. There were no typewriters. Uh, I actually do have only two pieces I can take out, which are the rocking chairs, and they do actually rock. It was fun. I had to take actual measurements from websites about 1800s furniture. History class definitely is one of my most favorite subjects. She actually loves art, so she was able to put together a good board, but also capitalized on um, the costume aspect of it. She you know, really liked dressing up, and that helped her get into character. They made learning come to life, which was really special. And a great event at St. Michael's every year. Relearning history at St. Michael's Academy in Springfield, for Real to Real, I'm Nick Morganelli. The students, along with members of their families, certainly learned a lot. Great job, everyone.